Today, let's talk primary mathematics and dimensions math. They're both from Singapore Math, but are they the same? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm very thankful that you're here. On my channel, we talk about all things homeschool and enjoying this ride. We really go through this journey together. Since I began making videos for YouTube, this has been my number one requested video. The comparison of dimensions math and primary math. Today I'm going to walk through some of the similarities and differences between the primary math and dimensions math and we're going to talk specifically about level 4b in both of those programs. So let's get started! Singapore Math is planning on releasing a new edition of Primary Mathematics K through 5 in the summer of 2021. However, it's not released yet, so this video focuses on the current edition. Please keep in mind that we are looking at an upper elementary level when we are comparing these. So first of all, um, as you know, Singapore has an A and a B for each year. So we will be looking at 4B. For each semester, you will have a textbook, and then you'll have a workbook, which I do not have the primary mathematics workbook. And then you will have a teacher's guide. Now, Dimensions has the teacher's guide. Primary math has both a home instructor's guide and a teacher's guide available. So we're going to look at the home instructor's guide for primary math um, with comparison to the teacher's guide for dimensions. So just to keep in mind that we are looking a little bit differently, but um, dimensions doesn't have a home instructor's guide at the moment. Something else that you may want to look into in the Singapore Math website are the test booklets, if that is something that you're interested in. Now for the textbooks, first of all, um, <laughs> dimensions is larger, <laughs> so you can see, and it's also thicker. And one of the reasons is the amount of information that's given on each page. So I'm going to set aside the instructor's guides and we'll come right back to those here shortly. Okay, so primary math, it is in um, blue, black, and white. And so you can see that they do have some pictures, um, but it is really, there's a lot on the page and it's just blue, black, and white. Dimensions, on the other hand, is, is much more colorful. So you have more color, the pictures are larger, uh, the pages aren't quite as crowded, and so there is some of that spacing and aesthetic value to the dimensions math. Now, before I get started with this, I wanna talk about scope and sequence. <laughs> I went onto the Dimensions website and printed out the scope and sequence for the Primary Mathematics US Edition and then also the Dimensions Math Scope and Sequence. Now it is set up differently, so you have to do a little bit of work with this. So for primary, the way they have it set up is on the top here would be what level, what books you're looking at. Whereas dimensions, all I had to do was go to Math 4B and I could print out everything. You can see that the scope and sequence is a little bit spread out for the primary. Here we're getting into, with decimals, we get into more that is in 4B. But I really encourage you with two things. Number one is before you would um, make the switch from either primary to dimensions, dimensions to primary, really look at the scope and sequence because they are not identical, which is something that surprised me a little bit. And, and we will show you an example of that here in just a couple of minutes. But, um, but there is a very much a significant amount for the scope and sequence for both primary and four dimensions. But I would, again, just please take a look at that scope and sequence. On the Singapore Math website, there are placement tests, and I would definitely encourage taking the placement test prior to purchasing any curricula with, within Singapore. Within the Dimensions Math Teacher's Guide, there is a scope and sequence for all of the dimensions up through 5B. And so uh, again, we're looking at 4B. Let's talk a little bit about the differences in the scope and sequence. For example, measurement is the first concept that is discussed in 4B. This was discussed in primary mathematics 3B. Area and perimeter was in primary 4A. Now decimals is discussed in both 
primary and dimensions. Angles, lines and shapes were both in 4A. So there is a little bit of difference within the scope and sequence. So um, again, just make sure that you take the placement test. And also it may not be wise to switch in the middle of the year, but that is entirely up to you. Now let's look at, at the teacher's guides just in general. The first thing to notice is there is a large difference just simply in the size between Dimensions Teacher's Guide and the Primary Mathematics Home Instructor's Guide. When we open them, this is very typical for the entire book. Dimensions is in color, it's very spread out. Primary Math is in black and white and it has quite a bit of information on each page. So primary mathematics has a weekly schedule. So you're going to be looking, you can look at the semester at a glance to see um, how many days they're planning for each of the different units. And whereas for dimensions, you have to um, turn to that unit and then it will tell you how many lessons are within each unit. Both have additional material information. So you can have the dimensions additional materials and then you have the primary additional materials. They tell you exactly what you will be needing. And I just wanted to point out a couple more things. Number one is that the workbook answers and solutions are in both manuals. So for the workbook answer, answers and solutions for primary are in the back of the book and they're separated by um, each exercise. Four dimensions. So at the end of each chapter, you'll have the workbook pages for that chapter with the answers included. Next, mental math. So mental math is included in primary. It is not included to this extent whatsoever in dimensions. So within the primary teacher's manual, you have mental math answers, you have mental math questions. And so there is a, a little bit more information with regards to this. You also have this appendix within dimensions. They are called black line masters. And so you can go online and do a download for free. What I'm going to do in a few moments is compare a lesson so we can really look at apples to apples comparison with the primary and dimensions. However, before I get to that, I need to say one thing that really stood out to me when I was looking at the scope and sequence. When we're talking about decimals, again, as I mentioned, decimals are in both. However, decimals for dimensions will go up to the hundredths. So they do the tenths, they do the hundredths, and then they go into expressing decimals as fractions. So that is definitely different than primary because for primary, they go to the thousandths in 4B. So both of these again are 4B, and that is just something in, that's mentioned on the scope and sequence as well, but I did want to point that out. So let's look at a lesson. So we're going to talk about addition and subtraction of decimals. I've opened this, I've opened both books to the first page for the addition and subtraction. So this addition of subtraction of decimals. As you can see, they're laid out very differently. In dimensions, you have your suggested number of class periods, 10 to 11, and then they walk through the page within the teacher's guide, your textbook page, and your objective. If you have a workbook, they'll tell you the workbook page as well. Then what they do is they go into your chapter overview. This will give you just a general overview talking about mental math. So this is how you will help with the mental math. Then they talk about addition, subtraction, materials, and then here's your black line matters. It's telling you the three that you will need as well as the additional materials. And then games and activities are included in the chapter. That's something else to note is they do offer activity suggestions without each chapter. Now, within dimensions for the chapter opener, I just want to point out here, this is what your textbook looks like. So this is a direct picture of your textbook page. So page 105, 105. So you have a picture 
that is smaller and it's on each page. So these are your textbook pictures. It's all right here, it's very nice. They give you the answers as well. Then it tells you your exercise, page 79 is where you need to go. Within Dimensions, they follow a think, learn, do, exercise, and practice philosophy. So you're going to see this in every lesson, the think, learn, do, exercise, and then sometimes you will also have activities. The activities are not in each lesson, but see, think, learn, do, and then here is an activity that they give as an option for you to, to use. And then at the end of the chapter, they will have the practice. That is how dimensions is laid out. Primary is laid out differently. <laughs> so let's look at primary. This is your opening page for your four operations of decimals, addition and subtraction. So it gives you background information. Then it tells you within the student's textbook, you need to turn to page 31. And so here's page 31. And it there are no pictures within the teacher's manual on what is on page 31. So you really need to be able to set with your student to, to look at this because um, with dimensions, you have those pictures with primary, you do not. And we have the answers here to these questions. Then it gives you some detailed directions of exactly what to do with regards to the hands-on learning, the hands-on activity for this lesson. It talks about how when you're adding the numbers, it's beneficial to place them vertically instead of horizontally, and then, and then you have your answers here. And you can see here is the information for the workbook exercises. So you would go to your workbook and do exercise 17. This says exercises 16 and 17 are with this lesson. Again, your answers to the exercises are in the back of this book. Now I would like to talk about specifically how they present the information differently to the students. So we've talked a little bit about how they present the information differently to you as the teacher. So let's talk about how they present them differently to the student. So we're going to talk about, again, decimals. We'll just stick with decimals. The introduction to decimals in dimensions is talking about money. So you can see how they're saying, okay, money has decimals. <laughs> And how, how much do I have to pay if I buy all of these? So it's more of a real world example. And then primary basically doesn't have this page, but it, then it goes into the same question of two people drank two different quantities. How much did they drink? That is how both of them present decimals initially. So then we go into some of the practice. And as you can see for this one, first question, it's add four tenths and three tenths. And so this one in dimensions is four tenths and two tenths. So you're basically having a very similar problem. This one will include your discs pictorially. This one includes it as well. And then you have it written out four tenths plus three tenths equals seven tenths. Now dimensions does not give you that answer. So four tenths plus two tenths equals how many tenths? Both require you to give your answer in the blue box. You are adding tenths and hundredths all within the same lesson. And so you're doing addition for tenths and hundredths at the same time. And so you'll do the addition and then you get into subtraction. Of 14 problems for addition then you go into subtraction within this unit. You're doing tenths and hundredths all of the addition together, then all of the subtraction together. Whereas with dimensions, you're doing tenths, which you do um, for eight problems, and then you do tenths with regrouping, then you do subtracting tenths with regrouping, then you're into practice, and then you get into hundreds. So that is one of the differences, the way that they lay it out for how they're going to teach this. I hope this video has been informative in dimensions versus primary within the individual textbooks, as well as the um, teacher's guide, the home instructor's guide, and then also the scope and sequence. So please make sure that you check out the Singapore Math website. Also, I have a detailed flip through of the Dimensions program, which I will link. 
and I have a detailed flip through of the primary program. Now it is the primary common core and, but it does give details with information as to how it is set up. And so I will link that as well. As always, if you have any questions, please leave those in the comments. I will answer them to the best of my ability. I thank you for your time and I look forward to seeing you next time.